Thanks for joining me today here on DeHaven Family Farm. We have our Bush Hog Zero turn behind me and we're gonna do some maintenance. We gotta do an oil change, check the air filter, grease it up, and get ready to mow some grass for the first time here uh, this year for 2020. So what we have, like I said, it's a Bush Hog. Uh, the model there is HDE 2049. Uh, it's kind of a, more of a basic model, not a whole lot of fancy frills and things doesn't have a hydraulic lift on it or anything um, does have the Kohler 725 cc engine on it uh, that was kind of an upgrade that was one thing that we did do with it uh, when we picked it out we picked out one that had the Kohler and that's just kind of a side shot so I'm gonna get some stuff ready and like I said we're gonna change the oil we have a yellow Kohler filter we're going to put back on there. Our drain plug is right down there, so we're going to get that drained. And then our air filter, we'll check that. So let me grab some stuff and we'll get started. All right, I had this running a few minutes to warm the oil up. Uh, it's a 13 16 socket here. And of course the muffler right here is nice and warm. So that's, that's lots of fun. We'll try not to drop the drain plug into the bucket. Let's pull the dipstick out here and see if that makes it run any faster. Nope. Well, I guess that's going to be draining a little while. So while the oil drains out, let's see if we can get this filter off here. There is a hole right underneath the filter, and it does help if you put the filter wrench on the right way. <laughs> we want to loosen, not tighten. So the oil should run down. I put a second pan down there, so the oil should run right into that pan, I hope if I got the pan lined up the right way. Get her loosened up here. I think I might have it loose enough to grab, grab it by hand. Yes, I do. Okay. There we go. I know you guys can't see the pan, but the oil is draining into the pan. And out comes the filter. All right, so I think we just pop these two tabs, if I remember correctly. And there is our dirty air filter. It's actually not too bad. We'll go blow it out with the compressor and then put it back. All right, so we got this all blown out. It really actually wasn't that bad. I was quite surprised. I guess with it being so rainy uh, we've we've had this machine a little over a year i've been meaning to do a review on it but uh seems like i think every time we mow the grass it was soaking wet so probably wasn't a whole lot of dust so we'll just push this right back in here i got everything all cleaned up and then just simply pop our cover back on and turn the two tabs And that's it, air filter's done. There is a fuel filter right down there. Uh, this machine only has 40 hours on it, so we're not gonna worry about changing that today, but uh, if anybody is using this as somewhat of a how-to video, just so you know the location, it's basically right above the uh, engine oil filter. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, there's not a whole lot of grease fittings on the machine, but we're gonna go through and uh, grease everything up. The oil is still draining out. It's got a few grease fittings to do. There's these spindles here. And then the tire here. It's actually a grease fitting on both sides of the tire. Now we'll do our spindle here for... All right. So there's three spindles to grease on the deck 
and then the caster wheels here in the front. And it never fails when I'm in the middle of greasing something. The grease gun runs out of grease. Okay, got a new tube of grease in the grease gun. Let's try this again. Now you may be asking yourself, why in the world does he not have an electric grease gun? And the answer to that question is I do have an electric grease gun. <clears throat> I started years and years ago with a 14 volt Lincoln electric grease gun. And the thing was fantastic. So when the battery finally died, I bought another Lincoln and the thing is a piece of junk. It now only works in high speed um, and uh, there was something else wrong with it. So I rarely use it anymore. I usually just go for the manual one. I haven't bought a new electric one yet. I do use it on occasion though, because I keep a regular tip on there. Sometimes the lock and lube does not fit into certain locations. So I kind of keep this as my backup. But uh, again, it only works in high speed now. And uh, yeah, so I got to either get a DeWalt or a Milwaukee version at some point, but just haven't spent the money. Okay, we got our new filter with uh, a bead of oil around the seal. And because it goes on sideways, I didn't bother to fill it with oil because obviously half of it will spill back out before I even get the thing started. So we're going to get this spun on here and then we'll get the oil going in. Okay, so the hole where the dipstick goes in and out is your fill plug or fill port. I did put the drain plug back in, filters tightened down. Okay, we let it run, let it sit for a little bit. Give her a do double check here. I don't know if you can see that. It is by the full mark right on the dot. Good to go. All right, I think that finishes everything up. We did the oil, the filter. We did the air filter. Um, let's see, we greased everything up. Checked the, the battery was good. Uh, put a little anti-corrosion spray on the positive terminal. So other than that, you know, we checked the belts, air pressure is good in the tires, everything's good to go. So hope you enjoyed this short video here, just doing this maintenance. And if you have one of these mowers um, and you're going to change oil for the first time or do some service work, maybe this video will help you out. Uh, stay tuned because this summer I will be doing a review on this mower, uh, likes, dislikes, things like that. So stay tuned for that coming up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, please. The thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you on the next video.